what's up kings welcome back to another powerful positive and productive video in this quick video i just want to explain to you guys that seem to have a hard time grasping the simple fact that it is not your duty as a man to seek a relationship and chase women period bottom line all right and that thing that's inside of you wanting to chase a woman you know you had a good girl she was a nine or a ten as far as attraction goes and somehow she slipped through your fingers and that little thing that's inside of you wanting to go after her is a masculine trait but you're using it in the wrong way all right but real quick let me explain to you guys why you should never seek a relationship why you should never chase a woman all right when you chase or a woman or seek a relationship that is a feminine trait all right masculinity is all about purpose mission and drive all right i'm overcoming shit right blasting through barriers and all of that shit right that's why i love survival games that's why i love mission type games like grand theft auto or zombie games where i gotta survive and overcome you know, I, I'm drawn drawn to those games because that's the masculinity within me seeking expression, all right, through some type of outlet, right? That's why I like playing PUBG. I like playing PUBG. I'm going to put my PUBG right here on the screen for you guys that want to get shot the fuck up, all right? But yeah, masculine energy is all about mission, purpose, drive, over, overcoming shit, right? Feminine energy is all about love and looking for a relationship and marriage and comfort, okay? Now, some of you guys that seek in relationships, you have a lot of feminine energy within you, okay? Why? Because let me give you guys a great example from myself. I used to have a lot of feminine traits, yep. Captain Blackman had a lot of feminine traits. I used to love comfort, and when I was like 18 or 19 years old, I was seeking a fucking relationship, all right? So I went out looking for a relationship, and whenever you go looking for a relationship as a man, you scare women off. Women don't like that shit at all, all right? A relationship should be her idea. Fuck what you heard, fuck what you saw on TV, fuck what your mama and your daddy said, well, it's bullshit, okay? It should be her idea. She should she should be so over head over heels in love with you to the point where she just can't hold it in anymore. I want to be your girlfriend, you know, because she's emotional and she just can't. You know, you're doing everything right and you're just being so fucking alpha and she just can't control herself. She wants you to be hers. That's how it's supposed to be, all right. And like I was saying, I had a lot of feminine energy because I was in love with comfort. I used to have a poor relationship with food. If you pay attention to women. Uh, if they're going through some emotional shit, they seek comfort immediately. They go get their fucking nails done, their toes done. You catch them sitting on the couch eating ice cream, getting fat, okay? Having fat on the female body is a feminine trait also, all right? That's why in society, we don't fat shame women that much or, you know, thick women because it's a feminine trait. But if you're walking around with a dad bod, you a fat ass bitch. Look at your fat ass. You know what I'm saying? People point at you, Ugh, you unattractive son of a bitch. Lose weight, guys. You know, if you want to look more masculine, if you want to operate ma uh, masculine energetically, you know, you got to be able to step away from comfort, stop seeking relationships, stop chasing women, and focus on your mission, your purpose, and your drive. I hope I explained that to you guys so you can understand. It is not your duty. It is not your place as a man. You have a swinging dick and ball. Stop acting like a feminine bitch. If you feel lonely and you feel like you need female companionship, that means you have no purpose, no mission, and no drive. Because I'm in. You want to know who? What? what I, you want to know who I'm married to? Yeah, Captain Blackman is married. I'm married to my purpose. I'm married to my mission. I'm married to my drive. Why? Because I know exactly what the fuck I want out of this life. About four or five years ago, I had a vague, you know, mystic type idea of the things I wanted. It was blurry and shit, but it's in great de detail now. So if a woman come into my life, cool. But if she decides to leave, I'm just fucking fine. You're lost, bitch, because I'm good. All right? I, just like Dragon Ball Z said. My brother said, because I'm not a big Dragon Ball Z fan. But, you know, when he getting his ass beat or whatever, he always say some shit like... <laughs> If you want a challenge, how about my final form? <gasps> I didn't know he could transform like that! I'm not even in my final form! Well, bitch, if you decide you want to leave this relationship or this situation with me, I'm not even in my final form. 
you know, don't come back, bitch. If you do come back, it's a fuck buddy deal. You ain't gonna, <laughs> that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. All right. So I hope this video was helpful. Remember, masculine energy. All right. You're, you as a man with a dick and balls, you are supposed to be pursuing your, your, your goals, your mission, your drive. All right. Overcoming barriers and shit. If you're going through a whole lot of, uh, adversity right now over overcome that stop trying to drown out your problems by sticking your dick inside of women or whacking off the porn that's weak bullshit man up and stay fucking alpha all right so if the video was helpful give it a thumbs up and also remember feminine energy is love and emotions and you know we call emotions emotions for a reason you break it down emotions energy in motion and women have really very little control of that shit but you as a man, you should be well grounded. Stay in frame. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you got anything you want me to talk about, bro, leave it in the comment section below. I look forward to you guys' comments in the comment section. If you want to raise your vibration, if you want to take your health to the next level by optimizing your health and wellness, I highly recommend you guys check out Inno Greens, Inno Shred, and the powerful protein that we have over there at uh, Inno Subs. All right. Second link in the description, coupon code PURPOSE. All right. I take it every single morning this is my inno greens i take it every single morning to all of you guys that suffer depression this can be powerful for you why because it has ashwagandha in it all right it has 100 grams of ashwagandha i take about 350 grams milligrams of ashwagandha a day to keep myself calm so i don't have to smack a motherfucker you feel what i'm saying make sure you go get yourself some second link in the description i hope you guys do well stay out for.